Hello, welcome to learn how to paint in acrylics. My name is Michael Pickett and I'll be your instructor. Well, today's lesson will be an Oregon landmark, Sandy Creek Covered Bridge, built in 1921. Well, let's go to my studio and I'll show you how it's done. Hello, we're here at my studio and we're finishing up the drawing of the covered bridge. Now we're going to take our blue and white together and we're going to put over the canvas. Now we're going to take our sock and we're going to wipe away the paint. We're leaving the pencil show through. And now we'll paint in our sky using our number 10 brush. Get that all filled in. The mountains in the distance, all we need is uh, some blue green, a lot of white. That creates the illusion of distance. We'll just fill that in on the background. And we'll paint over the windows. Now we'll take our sock and we'll wipe away that paint that we painted over the windows with we can still see the pencil. Now we're going to switch to our zero brush. We're going to paint the background in behind the windows using your green and white. We got a little bit more in the background over on the side. Some green. A 
I'm going to put the background in behind the windows. There we go. Now we use our zero brush for green and white and blue. And we're going to continue working on the background. I'm going to put a little bit of blue down below and we're going to blend it in. We're just working on the roof using our number zero brush, burnt sienna, white, and black, and blue. But mostly white. Now we're going to get some black and some blue together. Shadow in underneath the eave, the shadowed side of the bridge. Mix some blue in there. We get a little bit more white and we're going to outline the window on the shadowed side of the bridge. We're not going to make it all that bright. There's always something happening in your shadows. It's not completely black. You have to put in other things. Even if you can't really see it, you put in kind of a hint of what should be there. And see how that works. And put in the boards into the window. They're kind of cross boards. They're at an angle. They're V shapes and X shapes. Yeah, fill in the boards behind the beams that you put in. There you go. Go ahead and highlight them. Okay, now we've got the shadowed part of the bridge done. We're going to work on reflection of light on the other side of the bridge that's reflecting onto the beams in the window. We'll use our burnt sienna and white and our zero brush. See how that gives that a warm glow to it?
We'll work on the inside of the bridge. Up on the top where it's really dark, we'll add our black and our blue together. We're using our zero brush. We're darkening it more on the inside. Now we're going to work on the road. We get our brown and our black together. And then we're going to slowly add more white. We're going to bring the brown and white forward. You see how that makes that look like? That road's going into the bridge. Go ahead and put in the 2x4s. They're on the inside of the bridge window. There's about three boards. See how that makes that stand out? We'll work on the inside part of the entrance. Now we're going to get some black and some blue together. For the front of the bridge, we're going to use our number two brush and burnt sienna, white, black, and blue. We're going to take that and mix it in combination. A little bit lighter, which basically we're creating a gray. Now we've got a, a warm gray. We're going to mix our white and a touch of yellow and use our number zero brush. We'll put in the beams. Now we're going to paint in the wood siding. We'll get the wood siding filled in. Now 
We're going to add a touch of black to the white and yellow. We can use that as a shadow on the eave above the door. I'm going to take a little more shadow under the eave of the roof. We're going to detail with a white and a touch of yellow. Using your number zero brush, we're going to go right over the top of the shadow. We're going to leave some of the shadow show through as we're putting it on. Gives it the illusion of being a shadow with a little bit of light reflecting on it. So it looks pretty cool. Okay, we're going to use our number two brush, black and green and blue, and we're going to fill in the side where the creek is. Now we're going to fill in underneath the bridge with our black and green. With a touch of blue to give it a cool color. Blend it in. We're going to use our zero brush, white and black, with some blue, and we're going to detail the shadowed side of the bridge. All this darken under the eave. Go ahead and make that side of the eave even a little longer. We'll add some white and we'll extend it. And now we'll put some black underneath, and then we'll shadow it. We'll add dark on top of the roof, so it looks like it has some shingles on it. We'll just extend that part of the roof out a little bit. Now we'll add some sunlight 
on the beams on the other side of the bridge window. We'll add a little more shadow on the inside part of the bridge. We're going to mix our hookers green together with our fan brush. We're going to use it to create the tree on the right side and the foliage and grass. And then we'll have a touch of yellow. Then we'll create some of the uh, the grass and step over on the side. We'll add more yellow. And we'll fill it in over on the left side there. And make it a little bit brighter. Now we'll take our burnt sienna and white with our number two brush and we'll make that road a little bit brighter. See how the burnt sienna gives kind of a red tint to the road? Kind of warms it up. Go to our fan brush and we'll create more of the grass. We use our yellow and our white and our hookers green together. And we'll just kind of place it all in where it needs to go. Fill in behind the bridge and detail the tree with the number zero brush and hookers green. Now we'll put in the tree on the other side. We'll use our number zero brush, hookers green, black and white. First of all, we'll start out with the hookers green and black and we'll create the tree limbs. As the light reflects on the tree branches, we'll just add the white and the green together and we'll make some reflection of light onto the branches. And we'll fill in some more branches there. Now we'll work on the trunk of the tree. We'll just kind of place it in there with kind of a lighter green. Now we'll take more white onto our brush and we'll put it right there. There we go. Looks pretty cool, huh? Now we'll work more on the background behind the bridge. 
We'll work on more detail uh, with our number zero brush. We'll just work with a combination of different colors. Okay, we'll use our zero brush, hookers green, white, yellow, and we'll fill in the grass and the foliage. We'll use our number 10 brush, hookers green, yellow, and white, to fill in the grass and the foliage. As you can see, we're taking our number 10 brush on its side and we're just dabbing it up and down real fast and we're creating the grass. Well with our number 10 brush we'll add a little more yellow to it and we'll do some more highlights. Now we'll get our fan brush, hookers green, yellow, and white, and we'll fill in the rest of the grass and foliage, and give it a different kind of grassy look. So with the combination of the two textures, you have a more realistic ground and grass and weeds. Okay, now all we have to do is sign our painting, and our painting's finished. Now we'll just paint the edges of the painting black so we can hang it up on the wall without a frame. There we go. Sandy Creek Covered Bridge built in 1921. Hello, we're back. Now that's how you do a painting of an Oregon landmark Sandy Creek Covered Bridge, established 1921. You have a great day and happy painting. Bye.